What's up again, everybody? After that last one, I think we need to go again. I think we should play another game. That last one was over far too quickly, so let's go ahead and hit stop and go see which deck number 26 is. 26. Math Magician Kazmarov. It's a pretty cool name. I remember this one being decent, like pretty good. Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I saw the I saw the number there for a minute. All right. Double follow the leader. Overlord Gricking. It's got library access in it. We can't go wrong with that, right? Come on. Can't go wrong with that. This is old school. This is like Call of the Archons, so maybe we can get a win with it. Let's check it out. All right. Let's see what we get. What are they playing? Triple Nocturnal Maneuver. Library access. Uh, Mind Barb. Double Life Ward. Tolos. Double Witch of the Eye, Double Hunting Witch. So this is a good deck. And it's good on the uh, <laughs> on the untamed side of things. We're going first, so we could technically like keep this stuff. Uh, it's not a great hand to keep, so we I think we mulligan. This is arguably worse. <laughs> arguably worse. Man, I thought I mulliganed these two. Go away. Uh, let's play Logos and let's play the Research Smoko so we can trade it in. And uh, wow, like this card was in my opening hand before the mulligan too. I didn't mulligan hard enough. Let's see what he comes out with. Playing Dis, Schuler, Fear to return that to my hand. I think we just go Logos again and play all three of these cards. Chaos Portal can come down. Bat drone can come down. End. I was hoping we'd draw into a little bit more stuff. Uh, I guess we can play this stuff. I guess. It's nice to use these cards to fight when you play follow the leader. So that's kind of a nice little thing. Hopefully these, these don't die this turn. We can actually use them for some effect. Would be good. He's playing logo, so Doc Bookton. Fogify. <laughs> well, guess we're not fighting. Scratch that. Scratch it. Can't beats can in this game, right? It's a thing. Uh, man, it's just bad to call all of this stuff. Let's just call Logos. Chaos Portal. Yeah. Let's play this down. Reap and reap. Probably should have waited to reap to use this. Now, we know we've played four Logos cards. We have three Brobnar cards and two Disc cards. So most likely to be Disc by the numbers. Turns out it's Bumpsy. All right. End. All right, here we go. Fighting time. It's going to be fighting time. Hmm. Let's see what he chooses to do. It's a great card to have on board. This is a great card back in the day, man. It's a good card. Doc Bookton. Five power reap draw card. Sticks around. Looks like he's going to do that. No, he's going to fight the bat drone. Plays lab work. Plays Tolos off the top with wild wormhole. That's really frustrating. Hmm. So if I kill his stuff, then... Um, I gain the amber. If my stuff dies, then he gains an amber. Hmm. Well, we're definitely always going to play this. But the question is, do we play the uh, follow the leader? Let's play our creatures down. This can't trade into anything. Stun all three. Because this can't trade, we're not incentivized to use it it does archive our card but we can save it for another turn i'm okay with drawing three i think instead of drawing four maybe i'm not maybe i just want to keep drawing we we know this deck is probably not as good as that one so we probably want to just dig through just throw the damage there he gains an amber i archive <laughs> the same card yeah i think we just need to keep digging keep Digging and we drew into a 2 2 2. That kind of sucks. 
What would we want to do here? He chooses Untamed, takes his Archive, of which there was one, I think. Nocturnal Maneuver, Hunting Witch. Sure. Mimicry, Bilgum. Oh, he stunned my stuff. Okay, so he's trying to stick the Hunting Witch. Now, can we remove that? Unfortunately, not with this. Effervescent Principle on his next turn would be good. I think we're going to do Brobnar, and I think we're going to do Sound the Horns. No, I don't want to take the Archives. And, oh god. <laughs> Kidding me. Wow. We discarded all of this. You can't see it yet. It's ridiculous. We discarded most of our deck. We discarded all of our deck. Oh my god. This deck is not good. <laughs> it doesn't have many creatures, I guess. Well, now we know. <laughs> That's a problem. Or maybe it's a solution. I don't know. Unfortunately, even if we... Hmm... I guess technically we can either get we can give him a key if he plays three creatures with the hunting witch or two creatures and reaps with the hunting witch, uh, and then kill the hunting witch and whatever else he plays with this, unless he plays his nocturnal maneuver number two or three, then we would not be able to do that. Other options include waiting for him to play stuff this direction, so that we can then play hand of dis on the hunting witch. He's naming Dis, and he's reaping both of those. Playing Dominator Bobble, playing the Life Ward. <laughs> Joke's on him. <laughs> this deck sucks with creatures. I'm going to name Logos, and I'm going to... No, I don't want to take the Archives. I'm going to use the draw effect. I guess we'll play Wild Wormhole, see what it plays. Plays us a Dust Imp. Sure. I'll use this, and I will just go ahead and guess Logos. Turns out it's Banner of Battle. Oh, this deck, I remember this deck has like a bunch of artifacts, doesn't it? I mean, we're looking at all these already. Play. Just try to use these creatures before he keeps us from using them. And then end, yep. Both effervescent principles in hand. Look at all of these artifacts, look at this. It's crazy. Hmm. So essentially, we're just like inviting him to play stuff. He's naming Dis, and he's going to start trading things. Trades the Dexter, puts it on top of my deck. Tolos the Reap. Oh, he's fighting the War Drummer. Okay. Dominator Bobble to use the Hunting Witch to reap. He's going to six. Okay, I can't play creatures. This is fine because I don't have very many anyway. Trades the Tolos so he can't come off. Well, maybe, can we make him come off a key? Can we give ourselves a key and make him come off a key? That's the question. I don't think we can. Hmm. I'd really like to get all this out of my hand, but I'd like to not give him a key in the process. Trade. Can't play this card. I can play either of those, which is good. I am just going to give him a key. I say forget it. No, don't take the archives. Oh, I guess my play here was to use this. See, I wasn't thinking about that, whoops. But I still don't get him off key, so it doesn't really matter. Play the artifact, play that, play this. Discard our master of three, fight, kill. He gets a key. We're set up for our own key, unless he controls it out see what he chooses untamed 
hunting witch, and then he starts gathering up some more Telega. Sure. Witch of the Eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, so at this point, now we want to use this to have all of these things kill all of those things. And none of these have stuff. So that means we want to play Brobnar. We'll take our red key as well. And we'll play Brobnar, and we'll take our archives. We will play this. Yep. Might as well play this. Gets it out of our hands. Might as well play this. You know, we don't actually have to. Not yet, at least. This one can only fight, so we might as well use it to fight. And we might as well kill that. Uh, this one can reap. This one can reap, and this one can reap. So if we wanted, we could take three, or we could just remove this stuff off the board. I think I am going to fight, just take care of things, and not have to worry about that junk, and then reap there and call it a day. Because we're driving down towards our library access. We can assume he is as well. He have he has not played many. Uh, one, two, three, four. He's played four. Yeah, he's playing Logos Library Access right now. Sure. One, two, three. Twin Bolt Mission. Twin Bolt Mission number two. Sloppy lag work. passes to me. So he's at six, so we need to use effervescent principle, which means we need to, yeah, because we can't remove that any other way. So we need to name logos. Let's draw a card first. Did we hit library access? No. Uh, we're down to like half of the deck. No, I guess most of it's dis, isn't it? Use the card's action ability to name dis. Hey, look at that. Doesn't matter, put it on the left. Okay, play this. You no longer have that amber. Play this. Play this. Play this. Reap. Yeah, do I respect that stuff enough? No. Reap. End. I don't want to use the other effervescent principle. There's my own library access. I don't have many Logos cards left in the deck. I think I only have two, so it's not going to have too much impact going forward. We might just want to uh, set up for it by playing Sound the Horns. Assuming he kills the Dexter, that makes a third card, so we could technically be okay. Technically. This will blow everything up if he forges a key. And so we kind of need to avoid that because <laughs> with the deck having this many artifacts, you really need to get them out off of the or out of the deck because it just becomes unwieldy with them. Plays key to dis, okay? Makes sense. I mean, I would do that too. This will blow up the board next turn we can assume in our hand we don't have a ton of uh, creatures Let's see he's using novu archaeologist with the dominator bobble he archives mimicry okay poltergeist which artifact is he going to kill i would kill the lash he's going to kill the gauntlet of command okay using kiho Kills the Gauntlet of Command. Plays his own Lash. Okay, so if he blows this up, he blows all of these artifacts up as well. Looks like he's got a ton of artifacts. Look at him. So he's at four, I'm at two. Reaps archives a card. Our archives a card. Hmm. So we'll play it.
reap, reap, reap. So we're at seven. And we recycle, haha, -ha. I didn't think about that. Duh, you draw at the end. So he doesn't have access to all my cards. That was clearly the better play. Why did I sit there and think so long? So he can blow the board up if he wishes. The question is, does he have anything? Yeah, he's naming Dis, so let's see. He's going to mind barb my mother at random. That's a bummer. I do not like that. I am not a fan of that. He's removing the stuns. I guess he's just probably doing that because it's fun. Lash to make my keys nine. Life ward to make me not play creatures. Joke's on him. I don't care. I'm naming Dis and I'm probably just, well, I guess I could leave this stuff. I don't care that much, do I? This, his keys, no, I don't take the archives. His keys cost nine. I will archive a card. Might as well be that one. And then I will play that for no effect and then discard both of these. And I was hoping we'd draw into more uh, logo stuff since it's all sort of in the deck Yeah Him hitting that mother was kind of a bummer. It's a big deal So he doesn't forge a key nor did I if he names this again, we don't forge again If he names this again, I'm comfortable naming this and then doing the same thing to him archiving another logos card and then just playing these two cards We'll see what he loads up on. If he plays a bunch of, um, well, he's kind of gone through his uh, untamed cards. Oh, he's naming untamed, so we'll see. Plays my Nocturnal Maneuver for no effect. Nocturnal Maneuver for no effect. It's up to nine. Snuffle Gator. Big Twig. I get to forge a key, hooray, yellow. He's at eight. Um, I am comfortable, as I said, doing what I said. The other option is I could drop him to four with this and just playing like two cards. Let's see, it, he would have to push to what? He'd have to push to 12 to still forge and that's if I don't just like double effervescent principle chain it. I think we still go dis. We don't take the archives. We play this. We put uh, Snuffle Gator back. Does it really matter? Sure. Um, we'll play this. We'll archive a card. And we'll use this. And then we will end. Oh, come on, man. Frustrating. So we'll play three, we'll draw three cards, natural draw one, natural drawing one here. As we only have three logos cards, where, man, I feel like our logos cards are so locked. There's three in there. There's three left in the deck. There's two on board. Man, that's weird. Three in the deck, three in here, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Sloppy lab work, sloppy lab work to put save the pack. Discarding. Osmo Mar uh, Martianologist. Couldn't speak. He goes to nine. So now we do logos. We take our archives. We play our library access. We. Don't think it matters which one we play first. They both draw cards. So we play Effervescent Principle. He goes to five. We play, yeah, we'll, hmm. Is it better to draw a card all, you know, like no matter what, or draw a card off this? I don't know if there's any difference. I think we'll just draw a card. Play Dexter. Play the Bat Drone. Hey, play this. 
use this. I think we are literally just down to, uh, oh no, it's a half, it's a split. This one, dang it. <laughs> oh, it was, it was ever present principle, sweet. All right, and that drew us this toll loss, and then we end. Hey, that's pretty good. I think I know what I'm gonna name next turn. There's a bunch of junk that doesn't do anything, which is kind of sad. Plays fear to put that back into my hand. Plays key to dis. Poltergeist to blow something up. Yep, mind bar, or blows up the lash, which is what he should have done the first time, I think. Should have done that. I don't think it's gonna matter. I think he, this is probably a big enough turn for him. Oh, well, he has one key behind, I forgot. Discards toll loss. Uses key ho. Draws a card uses probably Snuffle Gator to kill the Dexter, put that back on top of my deck. Yep, gains him four. Uh, let's see. You know, the problem with all of this, is that it just doesn't do anything, man. It just doesn't do anything. And if we stick stuff with the board here, like if I play, he's at four, so I technically that is steal. I don't know. He blows everything up, puts my stuff to nine. It's, it's, it's just weird, man, it's just weird. In the off chance he doesn't do all of that, when I play this stuff down, then I get to use it with all of these effects. But does that even matter? Not really. Not really. Such a weird deck. I'm gonna draw into just a bunch of random stuff that doesn't matter, so we might as well just play out the stuff that does stuff, I guess. Might as well play the stuff that does stuff. All right, so assuming he blows up the board, oh, maybe he doesn't, maybe he just fights, draws a card, does something here, does something there. Using Dominator Bobbles, maybe he just names Dis and blows it up anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we can get this last key, that's my thing. I don't know if we got there. I love how ever since he played this strange gizmo, we've kept him off a key, which means, oh, okay, well. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. So everything's going to die this turn. <laughs> it's so dumb. Is there a way we get more amber? He's gonna forge a key. This is gonna blow everything up, including his lash. Is there a way we get more amber? I think we just do this and we like draw a card. And then I guess we 50-50 and name, I don't know, Logos. It was Master of Three. This doesn't matter, it'll like capture, but he still forges, everything explodes. And uh, that'll go back to the top of the deck anyway. It doesn't matter. Real question is, does he have another reload in his hand? Cause he's holding six cards, didn't have anything crazy. Let's see, let's see what he chooses. Life Ward <laughs> and Mind Barb. Oh, he got the sound, the horns, the only thing that gives me an amber. He pulled that out of my hand. That sucks. Ugh, okay, well, let's just get rid of all of this. How dumb. The only thing that gives me an amber is the one he pulled. It stinks. Ugh. Oh. He's at four. He's playing dis. <laughs> Schuler to go to five. Oh man. 
bummer. Fly forward, I can't play creatures. Uh huh. What did it use? What did it use? Oh, <laughs> did it shuffle? It didn't do anything? Well, that's life. Ouch. So we're at four, he's at five. And uh, it's probably just game, because double reap, I don't have any way to stop it. Good game, good game, we got close, we got close. So let's see the deck we got close with. As you can see, there are very few Brobnar creatures. Uh, there's one, two, three. <laughs> three Brobnar creatures. And you've got double follow the leader, sound the horns, like uh, war song. So you're not really using those things, which is really tricky. You could stick boards with creatures from the other houses. That's kind of what I was trying to do with logos, is stick something or with... Um, that one turn where we had uh, Overlord and Master of Three and uh, Schuler down and uh, what was it, Tolos down, where we could, if we stuck those, then we could um, follow the leader them while naming Brobnar. That would be good, but unfortunately it just never came to fruition. When your opponent has two life wards, it's just easy for them to, to just wipe after you reload, after they wiped, you know. So that's, oh, I should look, oh, it's a 57. Okay, a 57, so it's in the bottom 15% of all decks. We almost pulled out a win against a, I would say a pretty good deck. I wonder what that deck was rated. I wonder if I could find that out. I'd have to look into that. Well, well, it is what it is, right? Eventually we're gonna draw one of my good decks. We're gonna roll this, this little thing here and it's gonna come up with a good deck, eventually. Uh, I don't think we've really hit too many good decks, but uh, you know one day one day We'll roll it and it'll be a great time if you enjoyed this video feel free to give me a like and a subscribe And as always everybody. Thanks for watching